I'm Trey from Mindplay and in this video I'm going to do an unboxing of the Mindbander EEG, show you what's inside the box, how to get it all set up so you can get up and running with your kit as soon as possible. Okay, so we'll start by going through the contents of the box and what you get in your Mindplay Mindband box. Right, so you've got your user guide, your comfortable triple sensor, your neoprene band, the actual mind band unit of the power button, and your charger cable. Now it's really important to use this charger cable and no other cables. Charger unit, you take a supplied cable, plug it in, and as soon as you do, the red light comes on, indicating that the unit is now charging. When the red light goes off, it means that you have sufficient charge to use the unit. It does not mean a full charge. A full charge will take up to four hours. Okay, so now you've got your fully charged unit. I'll show you how to put it together. So you start by turning your mind band around. You take it gold side up and where you see the A, place the end of the sensor. Give it a nice little push. Take the connector, put it through the hole, like so. And that's your sensor in place. And then on your band, you'll see a tiny little slit. What you want to do is just push the unit through like that, connect it up, and that's your band ready to go. So let me run you through the lights on the mind band. When you first turn the device on, you get a fast flashing blue. This means that the device is now in pairing mode. If you now connect it to a device, you will notice that the fast flash becomes a slow flash. So I'm gonna get it connected onto a device. And now that we're connected, you'll notice that you have a slow blue flash once every seven to eight seconds. For iPhone users, you don't need to pair directly with the device. Mindband BLE has BLE built in. Green flash means it is in BLE mode and can connect directly to iPhone or any BLE compatible device. If your mindband has a low battery, you will see that the blue flash is combined with a green flash, giving you more of a turquoise color. This is telling you that you need to put your device on charge. Before you put your mindband on, you're going to want to pair it with whatever device you're wanting to use it with. So I'll show you first how to pair it with an Android phone. Start by turning on the device by holding the power button for five seconds. It starts to flash blue. Go to your phone, click settings. Connected devices, pair new device. It may take up to 10 seconds for Mindband to show up. There we are. Click Mindband. Click Pair. And that's it. The Mindband is now paired to your Android device and ready to be connected to via any app. To pair your Mindband with your Mac, you need to start by going to the little Apple icon in the top left corner. Click System Preferences, Bluetooth. You now turn on your mind band by holding down the power button for five seconds. When it starts flashing blue, it's now discoverable and should come up in your list. As soon as it's in your list, click Connect. It's now connected and pairing. You may find that the mind band disconnects after about 30 seconds to a minute. That's completely normal. It means it's still paired. You just need to connect to it now via one of the apps or the software applications. To pair your Windows machine with your mind band, look for the Bluetooth icon in the bottom right hand corner of your taskbar. Click the Bluetooth icon. Click add Bluetooth device. Now that you're in your Bluetooth devices menu, you want to turn on your Mindband unit, making sure that it is flashing blue. Now it can take up to 30 seconds to find the Mindband. It is normally quicker than that. So in a moment, here we are. Click on the Mindband. Click Pair. Now it can take for up to five minutes for Windows to fully pair the Mindband and set up all the COM ports. However, this can be quicker on your machine. 
Now that your mind band is paired with your machine, you can find out what COM port it's on. So if you click more Bluetooth settings, go up to COM ports, we can see that the mind band has set up COM7 as an incoming port and COM8 as an outgoing port. You might want to make note of these for any applications that require you to know what COM port you're connected to. Okay, so now that we've got the mind band set up, put together, charged and paired, show you how to put it on properly. So on your mind band, you need to make sure that your unit is on the left side of your head. And if I turn it around, you see three sensors. Now it's really important for the gap in the middle to be in the middle line of your forehead. So I'll show you now. So what you want it to be is effectively like that. Turn it over, put it onto your head, get it around and then use the Velcro straps at the back to get a nice fit. What you want is good skin contact on the sensors and within a few seconds, your unit should be connected and ready to go.